Anupama and welcome back and I hope you are all doing good. So guys finally I am done with my bedroom makeover and I am super excited to share with you guys and it really turned out to be very beautiful than what I expected. So if you guys are new here I do share a lot of videos on DIY home decor and makeover. So please consider subscribing. So before getting started let's have a before look of the room. So this is the second bedroom of our house and my son uses this room as a play area with full of toys and other stuff. It's a kind of mess everywhere. So let's clean it first. So after clearing of everything, this is how the empty space looks. It's neither too big nor too small and the queen size bed can perfectly fit the space. As I want to give a boho look to my bedroom, I'm not going to change the wall color. I'll be leaving it as such. And if you guys can see here, there is an arch shape on the wall and on top of it I had fixed a curtain rod. So for this rod, I am inserting these netter sheer curtains which I bought it from Amazon. I'll drop the links in the description box so that you can have a look. Now I'm hanging this DIY macrame lampshade, the tutorial is already available in my channel and also the link will be given in the description box, you can also check over there. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a backdrop or the headboard of the bed. So in this project mostly everything is a DIY including the bed. So you can always check the description box and I'll be posting the links over there. So next to the light, I'll be hanging this bamboo basket. And I got these baskets from Amazon and they are super cheap. And for this I had attached tassels and hanged them using macrame rope. And it cost me around 250 rupees for 10 baskets. Just arrange them side by side. Now next to the baskets, I will be hanging one more DIY macrame lampshade followed by netter sheer curtains. Again coming to these curtain ties, these are also DIY, just you need to attach tassels to the end of the macrame rope and that's it. So by this we are done with the making part of our backdrop for bed and this is how it looks. Now let's start arranging our bed. For this I am using this palette and if you guys know that over the last few years palette beds are in trend and I got them customized from local vendor and if you guys are from Bangalore I bought them from Eco Solutions. You can google it so that you can get the details and one more important thing is that they do customize according to your requirements. And you can also observe one thing, these are not the old palettes and they are pretty new ones and they are super sturdy, functional and also budget friendly. And let me say one more thing guys, this is not a sponsored video. I had googled a lot for these palettes and finally I am very happy with the quality. You just need to arrange the palettes and then dropping them with mattress, that's it. Your bed will be ready. So before placing the mattress over the bed, I want to place this mirror over the headboard. As the nails are already drilled, I just need to hang this mirror. And this mirror is lying with me from past 9 years. All I did is change the frame to match the theme. So guys let me share a tip with you, adding big size mirrors over the bed adds depth and makes the room look larger. And now let's place the mattress over the bed and this is from the brand Wakefit. And again I am saying you guys this is not a sponsored video and this is my personal opinion I am using this brand from past 3 years and this gives a good back support 
so again i bought the mattress from same brand so now to fill the gap between the headboard and the mirror i am using this picture frames and i'll be fixing them over here instead of pictures you can also use any phrases or any paintings to elevate the room design so for now i am using these pictures and if i want to change later i can change them as well now this area feels complete after placing these picture frames and these frames are also from amazon now let's place the bed sheet even this i bought it from amazon all the links are there in the description box you can please check over there including the diys white bed sheet always gives a fresh and calming look to your bedroom and ultimately this is the place to relax at the end of the day right so personally i feel that white looks great on any bed but it's bit hard to maintain it add more pillows and cushions to get that cozy look and now coming to these curtain guys i just love them they are super soft i bought them from amazon the link will be there in the description box and after inserting them they completely transform the look of the room Now we're adding more layers on the bed sheet to get that cozy vibes and again this throw blanket is from Amazon Now moving to my favorite part that is bringing some greens inside so now I'm adding this tall areca palm next to my bed and you all know that plants add more color and life to your bedroom or any other space so bring in greenery by adding more plants and to cover the space over the headboard i'll be placing neon pothos and english ivy on both the ends as this bed is facing the west window of this room this plant gets enough amount of bright light Adding a pattern rug over the floor adds a aesthetic look to your room as well as it keeps your feet warm in the morning and even this I bought it from Amazon. And now coming to the other side of the bed I'll be placing this DIY lampshade. I'll be always in a doubt to call it as a feather lamp or a palm tree lamp. The link for this tutorial is given in the description box. You can please check over there. And now next to the lampshade I'll be placing this small side table which is made out of old planter and small mirrors again this is a diy and on that i'll be placing this snake plant adding more diy mirror wall decals to complement the theme these are done very long back and now i am adding this revamped wall clock this is also done earlier Now to cover this side of the wall I am using these DIY wall shelves which are made out of popsicle sticks. And in the shelves I am placing the small plants. And next to these plants I'll be adding these three wise owls which are made out of empty paint bottles. To add more vintage look I'm using these bamboo plates and these are from Amazon. And 
coming to this wall deco this is made out of bamboo skewers and jute cloth and finally i'm adding more string lights under the bed and a tip for you guys light can transform the ambience of your room and make it look magical and the options are always endless just i'm placing these under the bed Just to add some pop of color to my curtains, I'm using the satin leaf ribbons. I'll be attaching these two curtains using safety pins so that I can remove them whenever I want. So finally I'm adding some scented flowers and candles on a tree. By this we are done with the makeover and now let's have the final reveal.
that's all about my journey on creating this dream bedroom and i really love the way how this room is transformed and this is my best makeover till date and i hope you guys also enjoyed this and please hit that like button if you like this video and please do consider subscribing see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and bye bye